All right, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. I finally got my DIY maxi wrap skirt tutorial up. Make sure you guys check out the blog post link down below. Most likely any questions you have will be answered there. And be sure to switch to high definition because it's better. But to get started, this is the fabric that I'll be using here. It's a stretch jersey knit fabric. I do have it folded over from salvage to salvage. And then all I'm going to do is use my measuring tape to measure the length that I want my skirt to be. This measurement is going to be from where I want my actual waistband or the bottom bottom of the waistband down to the floor since it's a maxi length skirt but you can do this for any length you'd like to make it. I am mad tall so this is my desired length right here but again you know make it whatever length you want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out. Normally I would use my yardstick because it would just be easier but I can't find it so this ruler will have to do and all I'm gonna do is mark that with a line going straight across and then once I've done that I will just pretty much cut across that line. Now this piece of fabric that is in my left he left hand is going to be for the waistband. So just make sure that that fabric is enough to at least be double the width of your waistband measurement plus a little bit of seam allowance. But once you have that cut out, you can go ahead and set that piece aside. We'll come back to it later. And since I do have my fabric from salvage to salvage, I'm going to actually take it to my serger just to trim off the salvage so you don't see that on the skirt. This is what it looks like once I have done that here. If you don't have a serger, no big deal. You can just go ahead and cut the fabric. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing along the bottom of my skirt as well. All right guys, so once you get that trimmed off and nice and neat and even, do the same thing, take it to your serger or you can just leave it trimmed nice and neat. All right, so I'm showing you in the smaller screen up there in your left hand corner just so you can see what I'm doing. But since I serge mine, all I'm going to do is take my fabric and fold it over according to my seam allowance. You can use whatever measurement you like. It's DIY, that's the whole point of it, right? Once you get down to the corner or the bottom, you're going to fold it over like so, and then you'll top stitch it down. So pretty simple, easy peasy, and then do the same thing on the other side. If you don't have a serger, you can just fold your fabric over once and then fold it over again and top stitch it down and that will work as well. Shout out to my little helper right there. <laughs> All right you guys, this is Wonder Tape. I'm going to be using a lot of this in, a lot of this in this tutorial. I've shown you guys this before, um, basically in my go to the fabric store with me. In most of my tutorials, I've used it as well, but I like to use it whenever I'm working with stretch or knit fabric. So all you do is place it down along the edge of your fabric. It's pretty much like double-sided tape, pretty much there. And then you're just gonna trim it off. It's optional, you don't have to use it. I just like to use it to kind of stabilize my fabric and make sure it's nice and neat. You'll peel it back, and then just go ahead and fold your fabric over, and it will stick nice and neat. You don't have to worry about ironing it. However, if you're not using a you know stretch fabric, you can just iron it over and skip the wonder tape all together. But I'm gonna work my way down, folding it over, pulling up the tape like so till I've done that all the way down the bottom in both sides. And this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, thumbs up for the Hello Kitty socks. <laughs> this is what it should look like though once you have done that. You can see it holds it nice and neat and in place. I have not sewn it down yet. The Wonder Tape, it does dissolve after you wash it away or after you wash it the first time. So you wanna make sure you sew it down. But this is what it looks like on the corner and then just going all the way around the skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and take that to my sewing machine, top stitch it down. Of course, you'll start with sewing down, back stitch, and then continue sewing all the way around. Once you reach one corner, all you need to do there is lift up your presser foot rotate your fabric then go ahead and put your presser foot back down and continue sewing and then do the same once you reach the other side all right you guys so we can set that piece aside i do have this is the same piece again from when we first cut the fabric so it's folded over i'm just showing and measuring here it is twice the length that i want my or the width that i want my waistband to be plus seam allowance so then I'm gonna fold it over again. So basically what you'll end up with is four layers of fabric here. And I'm just smoothing it out, lining it up till it's nice and neat. And then all you need to do is get your scissors and you're pretty much just going to cut that in half as neat as you possibly can. All right, so once you have done that, you will end up with 
two pieces of fabric for the length of the waistband and for your belt. And let's just make sure you do have enough fabric for that. Then all I'm gonna do is take two edges, line them up right sides to right sides. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and serge it down. Again, you can sew it down and just trim it nice and neat. Here's what it looks like once I have surged it down. You can see when you fold it over, you have one long, nice piece. I am going to fold it in half and just put a little bit of a press in it just because I find that helps me for my guidelines when I do the waistband. The next step, go ahead and take the waistband and pin it right sides to right sides to the top of your skirt where you have not done any sewing or hemming. And then I pin it in the middle and you're just going to take that piece and sew it down the length of the skirt on both sides. Or not the length, the width. <laughs> go ahead, ooh, sorry about the blur here, you guys, but go ahead and sew down, as you can see. Right side to right sides. I'm just using a straight stitch since I don't have to worry about it stretching or anything like that. And I'm gonna back stitch a few times just to make sure it's nice and secure. And here's what it should look like. You can see, since I did put the crease in and kind of folded the fabric over already, this is what it will look like once it's completely done. But here's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna lay it down, get my handy dandy wonder tape again, and I'll be placing that down along the seam, basically on the inside where you sewed down just now. You're gonna go ahead and do the wonder tape going all the way down. Again, optional, you don't have to do it, but I choose to do it just because I find that it's easier. I'm gonna go ahead and peel up all of the wonder tape this time, and then what I'm gonna do is fold over the top of that waistband piece just a little bit and then attach it to the wonder tape like so. A little bit tricky, not my favorite part, but it's a lot easier if you're not working with a stretch or knit fabric, but this is what it looks like once you have done that. And then all you need to do is just go ahead and press it nice and flat so it stays nice and neat and flat. Here's what it looks like on the other side that I've already done. And then for the next part, you're gonna go ahead and move on to the actual belt. So for the belt, doing the same thing pretty much, getting the wonder tape, sticking that down on one side, which would be the inside of the fabric. And then the other side, I will just fold over a little bit and secure it down to the wonder tape, working all the way down the length of the belt. This is what it looks like once you have done it. This side I already completed. So here's the finished product here. All I need to do is press this down so it's nice and flat in me as well. Then for this little piece here on each end, all you need to do is pretty much, you're just gonna kind of fold it under and into the actual belt part there until it's nice and neat. If you're using a non stretch fabric, I would go ahead and press it down and then sew it down. So here I am sewing it down. I'm gonna do a couple of back stitches just to make sure it's nice and secure. Go ahead and lift the foot, rotate it over, and basically I'm going to be sewing where I did the wonder tape, or where I placed the wonder tape at. Work my way all the way down the belt and going all the way into the actual waistband of the skirt, and you're going to pretty much just top stitch down like so. Work your way all the way down to the other side of the belt, and you'll do the same thing, rotate it around the end, couple of back stitches, and you are done too. Wear your new wrap skirt, super simple. I place it on the front just to make sure it goes all the way around in case the wind blows or anything like that. Wrap it around the back and bring it around the front. Make sure I have it lined up nice and neat and you know placed where you want it to be. A lot easier to do on your body than it is on the dress form here. But once you've done that, all you need to do again is just get it nice and neat. And you'll go ahead and tie a nice little bow on the other side and you are good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely. If you do have any questions, check out the blog post again down below. You can check out more pics in this outfit of the day post as well. Other than that, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Definitely make sure you feel free to subscribe, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And also, make sure you guys check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff at Nadira037. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until my next video, assalamualaikum. Peace.